Okay, let's look at optimal pollution reduction. The total benefit of pollution reduction is given by the following total benefit equation, where Q represents pollution reduction from firm A and firm B. The total cost of removing pollution by each firm is given by these total cost equations. And we want to find what is a socially optimal quantity of pollution reduction by each firm. First thing we'll do is get the marginal benefit of pollution reduction. We're going to take the derivative of this benefit equation, this B equation here, and we get 0.5Q plus 2. The derivative of 20 drops out, so that's why we're excluding it in our result here. And then we can make a substitution for capital Q. So making a substitution, we have the marginal benefit of pollution reduction equation. Next, we're going to get the marginal cost of pollution reduction for each firm. To get marginal cost, we're going to take the derivative of the cost equation. So taking the derivative of firm A's cost equation, we get just Q. And doing a similar thing here for firm B, taking the derivative of firm B's cost equation, we get the following result. So recapping our marginal benefit and marginal cost for each firm. So the optimal level of pollution reduction will occur where the marginal cost for firm A equals the marginal benefit. So let's set those two equations equal to one another and just simplify this. And dividing through by 0.5, we get this equation. We'll do a similar thing for firm B. Optimal amount of pollution reduction will occur where the marginal cost for firm B, marginal cost of reducing pollution, equals the marginal benefit of reducing pollution. So setting those two equations equal. And I'm going to solve here for Q subscript A. Doing that, we get this result. So I'm not, now I'm going to set these two Q subscript A equations equal to one another. And we'll be able to solve for firm B's pollution reduction. So firm B will ideally reduce pollution by four units. And firm A, since firm A here, it's going to be Q subscript B plus four. So firm A will reduce eight units of pollution. So in total, 12 units of pollution are being reduced. And that, again, is what is ideal, what is efficient. What is the total social cost of reducing 12 units of pollution? So just evaluate firm A's cost equation at eight units of pollution reduction. We get $36. And evaluate firm B's total cost of pollution reduction at its four units of pollution reduction. And we get $31. And so adding up those costs, the social cost here of reducing 12 units of pollution. What is the social cost if each firm reduced pollution by six units? So if firm A reduced six units instead of eight, its total cost would be $22. If firm B reduced pollution by six units instead of four units, its total cost would be $51. And here the social cost is $73. So this is not the efficient way to reduce pollution. So this is inefficient, trying to evenly split the 12 units of pollution reduction. And one way we can see that is evaluate each firm's marginal cost at six units of pollution reduction. And you'll see here that the marginal cost at firm A is lower than the marginal cost at firm B. So the added cost of reducing one more unit of pollution is cheaper for firm A than firm B. So firm A should reduce more pollution and firm B should actually pollute more.
And finally, what size per unit tax gives the efficient amount of pollution reduction? So the efficient amount of pollution reduction, recall firm A reduced eight units, firm B four units. So we're just gonna set the marshal cost equal to the tax. So for firm A, at eight units of pollution reduction, plugging eight in for Q subscript A, the tax should be $8. And we'll get the similar answer if we do the same thing for firm B. Firm B's marginal cost is two times its pollution reduction, where its pollution reduction is four, so two times four also equals eight. So the tax should be $8. All right, that's it. I'll stop here.